Hi y'all, today we are gonna work on this slide effect. I guess that's what I'm gonna call it. Hey, y'all need to help me out with these names sometimes. They're rough, I don't know what to call this stuff. But anywho, let's head over to Canva and I'll show you just how easy it is to make one of these. So the first thing we're gonna do is if you wanna set up your background, of course, it's always best when you're doing any kind of animation. If you want a background, set up your background. Let's uh, Let's just pick a color and hit that back there. I don't know. You know me and I like my little weird gray, my little gray scenario. I use it all the time. Terrible about it, yeah? It's like, hey, do you ever pick any other colors? No, 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 not really. It's always my black and pink and <laughs> just the same old, same old. Hey, at least I got an identifier. If you see it, you know it's Michelle's. Hey, look, if I see some, some silver looking stuff, I, can, I know Michelle done did that stuff. Y'all just know that. All right, so we've just got a little bit of a background going here because we're not going to get too fancy on it. So the first thing you're going to need to do is pick out whatever frame you want to use. If you, you can use a circle one. You can use a square one. Just whatever frame you use, you're going to have to use that frame in this, all the way through. You can't do different style frames or it will not move. So you can't do like a square, a circle, a square, a circle. It's got to be a square. And if you make it more rectangle, do not morph it anymore after it. You've got to keep it in this shape here. You can't go and have this square and this square here and, multi and it will not move. It's got to be the exact same one. So once you create the shape of your frame that you want to go, what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate it. So I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to make it smaller and put it up in the corner and then you're going to have as many as you want. It just you can go a whole bunch, a little bit, and then you're just going to take them and make them a little bit bigger every time. So you're going to go and make it a little bit bigger. And then make it a little bit bigger. And then you're going to, let's change the position of that one to the top. Ooh, not off the computer screen, girlfriend. Come on now. Come on. Give me that little purple on there. Here we go. And then you can make that one nice and big. Now you can come in from any side you want to. It really doesn't matter. The style you want to do this is all up to you. You can do circles. You could do triangles. You could do whatever. Just make sure that it's the same frame. The same frame. You're just going to take your corners and drag it up and down. You can't track, take your pulls and do it there because it will not. It'll it'll do a chunky move and it won't be a smooth move if you're getting what I'm throwing down. So now that I've got that in place, what I want to do is I'm just going to go over and I'm going to grab my pictures. So we're just going to go in here and grab pictures. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. Here's four. Here's five, and there's my first five pictures, right? So now I'm going to go and get my second set. Now, if you want to see what I did, I did, all I did to make that kind of weird thing was I did my triangle. I kind of put it like this just to kind of make it look like, uh, give it a little bit of like panache, I guess you could say. I don't know. You know me. I got to do a little extra, extra on everything. Kind of like smushed it out like so. And I had one. Let me get that smaller so I can pull that further and pull that down sort of kind of like that. And then I duplicated it and then I brought it in, brought another one in on the interior part like so and kind of made that like take it away. Let's take the white. Like something like that. And then just take those and I put those in the back like so. To kind of... Hold on, i got to do it right. And then I kind of manipulated them where you could see that coming down. Hold on, let me get my position. This was like my play part. Kind of... Make that little tracky, tracky looking thing. 
Now you can play with your pictures and you can do something else that way. Let's put it up like further. And you can do something like that to kind of make it look like it's got a like a track coming down. That's up to you. I mean, I just made them with some triangles and kind of moved triangles around to kind of to make that little like track it look like they were coming down. That's all that is. Easy peasy. All right, so let's do let's duplicate this page and go back over to my elements. Go in here. So all I'm going to do is bring them down forward. I'm not going to change them out or anything like that afterwards. So when that one's gone, it's gone. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take my little girl. I'm going to put her in the front. I'm going to take my lollipops next. My candy candy. My people people. And then I'm going to grab another one and put that in the back. There's no looping in these pictures like a carousel loops. You're just going to do it. So if you want to, if you got like a hundred pictures you want to do this with, you're just going to keep adding them on. And then they come off the front. When they come down, they come off the front. You add a new one in the back. So you can just keep on adding as many as you want to. So this can go on forever if you want to. So, and all you're going to do, lollipops are next. Candy is next. People is next. Dude man is next. And we'll do this one next. And then that's all you're going to do. You're going to duplicate the page. We're going to go candy. People's. Dude, man, uh, whatever that is, and let's say couple, and then you're going to keep doing that and just duplicate the page and go up one and them, him, uh, what's it, that, them, um, I'm trying to see which ones I haven't used. And that's all you're going to do is you're going to keep doing that. So we're going to come over here and just go up one. You can see that them, them, and as you can see, I'm just pulling and dragging it over from here. And then we have where's where's that one at? Where this one, this one, and um, what else do I got? What else do I got? I said a picture. Here's a picture. There you go, picture. And that's all you're gonna do. So now what we're gonna do is go in here and put your match and move in between. You know me, I'm going to turn it all the way up, apply between all pages, and then you're going to just set your time in the way you want to. If you want it at 2.5, I'm going to just go here and I'm going to apply over to all pages, and it still says 2.8 on some of them, 2.6, yeah, it's close as we can get. So let's go check our animation. And it's just going to come down and go into the next picture, and come down and go in, into the next picture, and, and it's just going to flow into your front picture. And that's how easy that one is. And this is a good where if you need to do a lot of pictures and want to do a lot of pictures, it's one where you can just keep loading pictures in the back and have them come off. So if you got a lot of pictures, it's a good little easy animation you can do. All you're going to do is duplicate the page and move them up and add a new one in the back. Move them up, add a new one in the back. So I also did the text, but what I did with the text was just pretty simple. Um, as you can see from my my, uh, what's your majiggy? Let me hit the text thing for my sample one up front. I just grab these because it's just easy. So I just grab something, let's say something like that. So I grab that We're on the first one. All right, so that would have been my first one. So I'm going to do that and make sure you put some space there. So let's say that. Let's do golden hour as our first page. Where you at? Oh, I don't want you to. All right, let's duplicate. Uh, delete that one. All right, so golden hour is going to be our first one. And we want the next one on our next page. So this talk to us would be our next page. So what we want to do with that is we want to make sure you've got a lot of space down here. So hit your, go down here and hit your enter and get some space. So that way... I want to take that. I want to control C that. And I'm going to bring it down to my next one. And I'm going to control V it here. Bring it down. And make it bigger. So you can do that. And if you want to, you can make it as little as you want. You can shrink it up. Just make sure that purple stays on your page. So now when it comes down... We're going to go from the first one. It's going to go to the golden hour. It's going to disappear. 
and that one's going to come in. And then if you've got another one, you're going to do the same thing. So this one is down. So we're going to, on our page two, this one is down. We're going to grab another text. You're going to do the same thing. Uh, let's find one. Uh, this one. So I'm going to use this one next. So I'm going to go here, make some uh, room on it. I'm going to go tighten this up. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to control C it. And then I'm going to go over to the next page. I'm going to control V it. And then I'm going to bring it down like so and make it big and fit in. And that's all you're going to do for that to bring them in. You're, you're going to grab your next one. Let's see whatever's free here. We're going to grab this one. I'm going to go here. Add spaces, make it small, like so. Bring it to the top, like here. Control C it. Go to my next page. Control V it. And then I'm going to bring it down, make it bigger into the position. Now you can do this any way you want to. If you want to, just plop them in there, like so. Hold on, we'll do that on the next slide. And you don't want it like coming down. You can also do that. So let's say we're going to do that. Uh, let's do shine and sparkle. And we're just going to put sh shine and sparkle here. So these last two, just remember when we get to those last two, we just plop those in there. We didn't do anything special to them. We're just going to plop those in there. So we're going to do the link in bio and that one. And then we're going to watch it. So let's watch with our words in there. So you're going to see here, now that's going to come down with your picture. That's going to come down with your picture. That will come down with your picture. Now we're going to get to the ones that are static. So we just put the static ones in there and they're just, they're just going to change as the picture changes. So that's the difference in those two styles, but that's up to you. You can do that part any way that you want to. And pretty much that's how you do that little easy peasy design. Even though I rambled a lot during it and I'm sorry. But, you know, hey, we got to hang out for a little bit. So, with that being said, I love you guys. I'm so glad you stopped by. And I can't wait to see you on the next one. And you know me. Hit me up on my Facebook and say, hey, I'm there. I love you guys. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.